Hey, what's up you guys? Ash here, and how you doing? And, oh, it, I'm looking at my window, and it is snowing outside. It's about, I think it's gonna be up to like six or seven inches. I'm not the fan of the snow. I mean, it's cool to look at, but I don't really like to uh, walk out there. I'm in New York City, so we commute via subway most of the time, and buses, so... I'm gonna stay home, especially tomorrow evening, because it's going to be nine degrees, and... <laughs> I'm a human being, you know? <laughs> Anyways, the uh, <laughs> gameplay you see right now is Shinobi Do or Shinobi Do 2 Revenge of Zen for the PlayStation Vita. I'm playing the demo version right now, but however, you can download it for yourself digitally for $24.99. And if you have PlayStation Plus, you still pay the same price because there's no, you know, special thing for it. Uh, it's a fun game. It's like that those Tenchu um, series of stealth ninja games where you sneak up and kill people. It's fun, you know, blood and blood. Yeah, moving on. So on with today's topics. Um, this guy on YouTube, you can um, have like an annotation up. He goes by the name of Godman Gen, and this dude is definitely a god. He likes to hard mod a lot of PS Vitas. He does like some crazy... Um, mods you go ahead and you check him out so what he did recently was assembled a ps vita from scratch with parts around the world and this dude recorded himself building it it's awesome you go ahead and check out the video um the total cost and shipping included with all these parts were the 208 dollars that's 152 euros he put um Screen and motherboard from different states of America, other boards from France, LNR buttons from Japan, other buttons, and rear touchpad from Greece. This dude is a god. You go ahead and you check him out. Um, I definitely will. I just subbed to him, and I can't wait to see more mods from this guy. Hopefully, from the shout out, you go ahead and you let him know I sent you there. Maybe he can get me, you know, he give me something for free. <laughs> and so, um, next topic: Borderlands 2. If you don't know, Borderlands 2 is coming out for the PlayStation Vita and 2K. Uh, international they tweeted a release date Borderlands 2 is coming to the hashtag PS Vita on March 18th retweet and then later on they said um, we apologize for a tweet about a release date for Borderlands 2 on Vita which was posted in error the release date mentioned is incorrect and they that was a huge letdown and what was even more of a letdown if um, maybe I'm mistaken, they didn't post a release date. Usually when you correct yourself, you post the actual correction and they didn't. So I'm assuming we won't be seeing this game anytime soon, probably towards the summertime, probably. I'm not sure. Late spring, that type of thing. So yeah, so that, that was a little upsetting. I mean, plus you don't you don't even see any like screenshots or like like gameplay around or anything like that. So that's when you can tell. That you're not going to see something like that for a long time. So let's hope for it um, when Borderlands 2 come out. Hopefully it'll have like multiplayer. Uh, get one of you cool guys. We do like some co-op and make some videos, right? Stay tuned. So in other news, as you if you watch my update video, you can you should know that I'm like obsessed with Don't Starve. It's a really cool game. So um, because of Don't, Don't Starve's uh, PS4 success, um, just interested in making a Vita. Um, I'm reading from the article here from the Vita Lounge. Um, after launching as part of the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection on PS4, Don't Starve, breached well beyond the million player threshold. This thing sold over a million copies, well, digitally. Okay, promoter developer uh, Clay, I uh, hope I'm pronouncing it, pr pronouncing it correctly, entertainment to further consider bringing the game to other platforms, including the PlayStation Vita. So, uh, there's a quote from him. We're investing a proper Vita version of Don't Starve at the moment, but we're not quite sure yet. So, it's not written in stone, but come on. This will definitely sell well for the PlayStation Vita. I believe the touchscreen and rear pad and the other features that the Vita has would be definitely helpful for the game. So I'm pretty excited about this game. I can't wait. As I said before, I'll definitely be making videos and showing off this game very soon. But if you have a PS4, and if you have PS Plus, you can get this game for free. So go ahead and play it. You know, let me know if, if you have played it. How many days have you survived? I survived 11. I'm about to um, boot this PS4 up and play it again. <laughs> it's a really fun game. And it teaches you survival too. So that's it with today's video. Um, I'll be back as always with more Vita content and PSP in the future. Thanks for watching as always. Love you guys. 
Make sure you take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Peace.